Today, we're getting back to basics with this knit basket weave dishcloth pattern. This beginner friendly pattern uses only knits and pearls. For this pattern, I'm using Red Heart Scrubby Smoothie, which is a beautifully soft, basic worsted weight cotton yarn. I also used five millimeter needles, which are a little larger than the yarn calls for, but I chose that specifically to create a piece with an open weave that will help the dishcloth dry more quickly when you use it. And you can use needles shorter than these, or even circulars. To begin, we'll cast on 37 stitches. If you're altering this basket weave pattern for this or other projects, you'll need to cast on a multiple of eight plus five. Here are all of our stitches cast on, and for row one, we'll go ahead and knit all of our stitches. And I like simply knitting the first row, which is usually a tight row for me. Just makes things a little easier. For row two, we'll begin the first block of our basket weave pattern, which is a little block of stockinette, or all knits on one side. So you'll start by knitting five, then purling three. and knit five. Repeat, purl three, knit five to the end of the row. Row three, we'll just do the reverse. Knit the knits and purl the purls as they say. So begin by purling five, knit three, purl five, and repeat, knit three, purl five, to the end of the row. Row four is a repeat of row two, so again, knit five, purl three, knit five, and repeat, purl three, knit five, to the end of the row. finished your first set of basket weave blocks. So for the next row, we'll create the subtle separation between block sections by knitting every stitch. So row five is just to knit all stitches. Row six begins your next set of blocks with a purl block. And since the purl blocks are only three stitches wide, we'll begin with a knit one, then purl three, Knit five, purl three, and repeat. Knit five, purl three to the last stitch, and knit the last stitch of the row. Row seven is the reverse, so knit the knits and purl the purls, and that last knit stitch from the end of the last row is now a purl stitch. So purl one, Knit three, purl five, knit three, and repeat, purl five, knit three to the last stitch, and purl one. For row eight, we'll repeat row six. Knit one, purl three, knit five, purl three, and repeat knit five, purl three to the last stitch and knit one. And there's your eight row repeat of the basket weave pattern. You'll work rows one through eight until your piece measures 20 inches long for the tea towel length dishcloth. 
Now I've worked up to my last repeat so I can show it to you again. Row 1. Knit all stitches. Row 2. Knit 5, purl 3, knit 5, repeat to the end of the row. Row 3, purl 5, knit 3, purl 5, repeat to the end of the row. Row 4, knit 5, purl 3, knit 5, repeat to the end of the row. Row 5, Knit all stitches. Row 6. Knit 1, purl 3, knit 5, purl 3, repeat to the last stitch, and knit 1. Row 7, purl 1, knit 3, purl 5, knit 3, repeat to the last stitch, and purl 1. Row 8, knit 1, purl 3, Knit 5, purl 3, repeat to the last stitch, and knit 1. Now it's time to bind off your beautiful dishcloth. And a basic bind off is just fine here. By knitting the first stitch, then knitting the next stitch, then pass the first stitch over. Again, knit one, pass the first stitch over. The key to this bind off is to make sure the stitches aren't too tight, so your cloth stays balanced on both ends. Repeat until you've bound off all of your stitches, and then you can cut the yarn, draw through the last loop, and weave in your two ends. Lastly, I want to talk a little bit about edges. They're a little on the rustic side, but I liked the character added to the dishcloth. However, if you'd like for a little extra credit assignment, you can pick up stitches along the edge to add a border for a cleaner look. So there you have it, a beautiful, rustic, generously sized dishcloth that's as practical as it is purdy. I hope you enjoy whipping these up for your friends and family, and you can find the downloadable version of the pattern on my website. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye! Hi, Hi, beautiful. <laughs> no, no, don't, don't touch, touch mommy's, mommy's camera. camera. <laughs>